So Tony Topping just giving a quick uh, debrief as to uh, what happened uh, after I filmed that UFO, which the, the foundations of it, it has like this historical vibe about it, what happened next. So as you can see, I filmed the, uh, I filmed the UFO, it comes flying over me, and then about 10 minutes later another UFO appears, smaller, totally different, and travelling very fast. Um, and it's, it appears to be chasing or trying to keep track, tail, the other UFO. Now, why would that be? Well, I reflected when I saw all that on the uh, on the past uh, and the fact that in the skies above us, there is, as I've always said, some sort of Cold War, some sort of Russia v. America type alien Cold War that's going on in the skies above us. And not only that, it has its tentacles, uh, all that, what I witnessed, has its foundations in at the end of World War Two. Operation Paperclip, the Nazi technology, Eisenhower, all that kind of thing, and their link between extraterrestrial back-engineered projects and what we see in the skies above us. And there's some type of, um, as I say again, some type of Cold War, some type of conflict going on uh, between them all. And it appears the, uh, the, the human beings, the governments of this world are caught in the middle of it. And it does indeed, when Stephen Greer talks about unacknowledged special access projects, that's where the that's where the trouble lies. That's where the problem is. And I wonder, during uh, if any government in its liaison with all this, one wonders what they've got to show for it. And that's all I can really say on the matter. But I feel very strongly that men died on the beaches of D-Day to protect us. Uh, but yet tyranny has uh, somehow walked through the back door. And those of you who know me and uh, what I'm on about will know exactly what I'm talking about there. Okay, over and out. Oh, I, for I forgot to add as well, that's uh, all about that UFO. Now, people will argue it's a satellite, it's, it's the space station. Listen, it's not that at all. It's not even a helicopter, and it's not even a civilian or military aircraft. It is a UFO. The question is, these unidentified flying objects, what they they stick to a narrative in the mainstream media that they're UAP, uh, they're, they're UFOs, but we don't tell you what they are. Based on 40 years of experience, we can zone in on this and say that that UFO, and I've seen it many times, that type of craft, is specific to, let us say, Hesdalen, uh, the the, Nor the Norway lights, and there was one uh, Italian physicist who stood on the uh, stood on the pulpit, put his head above the water, uh, and more or less said that he believed he was dealing with a civilization that could control plasma intelligently, like we could control DNA. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, for example, with a craft like that, um, if it increases speed, the cooler it becomes, kind of thing. That was one of the discoveries they discovered at Hesland. During my time uh, in 40 years of dealing this. Dealing with this, uh, I also discovered that those UFOs that we see, those type of ones, are from our oceans. So we're dealing with like a technology that's similar to the uh, to the abyss. And if you look in the uh, media narrative at the moment, you, you will see there is alien fear porn going on. When in fact, uh, <laughs> you know, UFOs are a threat. The threat this, the threat that. By comical irony, this is by comical irony. The very people that point out UFOs are a threat are those in the UFOs. And that is the Catch-22 irony. And I'm currently working on my new book, which is called I Alien, The Secret UFO Chronicles. So uh, I thought I'd just add that in before I forget. Um, and when you're dealing with this, um, the targeting and enforcement of silence uh, behind it all, uh, that we are not alone in the universe, is quite sinister. And the, I think that the ulterior motives in the mainstream media, the way the UFO phenomenon is portrayed, has an ulterior and sinister motive to it. And I wouldn't trust it to tell me the time of day. OK, this is uh, Tony Topping, definitely over and out.